Dr. Ronan Glynn, thank you very much for coming in to us. All this week, our audience have been sending us in questions for you. But before we get to answer those questions, I know you have a special message for the children of Ireland. Sure. Thanks, Ashton. Thanks for having me in. And thanks to all the boys and girls for putting in their questions this week. And we'll get to those in a minute. But I suppose... I wanted to come in just to say a big thanks to all the children this year because I know it's been a really hard year for them, it's been a really hard year for their parents, for their teachers and we've been asking all of you to do so much. So we've been asking them to wash their hands, uh, um, uh, to, to keep their distance, not to mix and not to meet up with their friends and we know how hard that's been um, but it's made an enormous difference. Schools have, 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 have done a, a really brilliant job over the past year and I know there's a number of weeks yet to the end of the school year um, but with all of the vaccines that we're now rolling out the disease is under control um, so things are really looking much brighter and that's thanks to the efforts of everyone but and, and in particular I want, just want to say thanks to the children today for all they've done. Very nice. Thank you very much for that. Now uh, we'll get to the questions that the sure. children have sent in. I have a question now about travel. Um, I have a video message from Megan in Holy Child National School in Larkhill in Dublin. When do you think it will be safe to travel to other countries like Poland? I would really like to be able to visit my family there safely. Thank you. Bye. So that's Megan and her class there. She wants to go see her family in Poland. Um, when will travel be possible? So the first thing to say that's really good is that the it's not just in Ireland that that, that um, the levels of the disease are coming down. They're coming down across most countries in Europe, and that's going to give us lots more options in terms of uh, being able to travel. In addition to that, there's loads of work going on in Ireland and then across all of the other European countries to develop a new system which allows us to travel from one country to another country. Uh, but the key to that is that as many people as possible get vaccinated. So if you really want to travel later this summer, make sure that your parents or the people in your life who can get vaccinated go and get a vaccine. So I was on this programme a few months ago and I asked people to tell their parents to wash their hands. Mm -hmm. Now I'm telling people to tell their parents and everybody they know that they should get a vaccine to protect themselves and their families. And hopefully by, by, by July, by August, we'll be seeing uh, the impact of that across Europe and we will see people being able to travel again. And I have another video question now from second, third and fourth class at Dromore West Central National School in Sligo. We have a question for you Dr Glynn. Is it really safe to hug our grandparents now? We would love an answer. Thanks. Bye. 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 So that's pupils there in Dromore West Central National School. Is it really safe to hug our grandparents? Because they're a bit confused about that. Yeah, so the simple answer is yes, it definitely is safe. But there's a couple of things. So your grandparents should be vaccinated uh, and, if, and you yourself should be well. So if you have any symptoms of a cold or if you don't feel well, then you shouldn't be hugging your grandparents. And that, that's the advice we would always give. But in basic terms, if your grandparents have been vaccinated, then yes, it's, it's safe to give them a hug as long as you're, you're feeling well and they're feeling well. Um, we have a question now from Anu Walsh Maguire who wants to know when can two unvaccinated families meet indoors? So we think that that will be possible in June. So just a few weeks time. Wow. Okay, great. Thank you for that answer. Um, and tell us now, um, Andrew Dunn asks, is outdoors the best place to meet extended family and friends? How is it so much safer? We know that it's a summer of outdoors, as the Taoiseach has said. Yeah, so outdoors is much safer. And the reason it's much safer put simply, is that outdoors you've got fresh air, you've got breeze and you've got wind and that blows the virus away. So even if someone is breathing out the virus, the wind comes along and blows it away and stops it getting to other people. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a really good question because the message that we've had for weeks now is to ask people, if you are meeting up with people, try to meet up with them outdoors. It's a much safer way to meet up with other people and keeps you and them safe. And we have another video question now from Miss Keegan's third class in Our Lady of Good Counsel Girls National School in Johnstown. Will communions be able to go ahead this year? So that's will communions be able to take place this year and we've had people asking about confirmations as well. Yeah, and I know this is a really big thing for, for many uh, uh, children across the country. 
At the moment, all we can say is that they can't go ahead this month or next month. In other words, we don't want them to go ahead in May or June. But we will look at, at how things progress over the coming weeks and we'll give more advice in a few weeks' time. But for now, they shouldn't happen in May or June at least. Um, this is our final question now and it's a video message from Eleanor in St Monica's SNS, Balbriggan County, Dublin. When will life be back to normal? That's the and lots of children ask that question, as you can imagine, and we're all wondering yeah, it really. Yeah, that's the million dollar question for all of us. Um, again, I think the way children should look at this is that their summer will be uh, pretty normal. And hopefully by the time they come back to school next year, most things will be back to normal. Um, but it's, it's, it's really about, again, because I know it's the last question, just to say, like, Things haven't been normal at all for lots of us over the past year. I think all of that hopefully is done with now. And from here on, things are just going to hopefully get better and better and better. So I know people really want to do dance classes indoors. I know people really want to have sleepovers. I know people really want to go and travel. And thanks to all the work the boys and girls have done over the past year, and now the vaccine's getting rolled out, all of that's going to be possible. We just need to, we just need to, to do it slowly and cautiously over the summer. But we are getting there. Well, we had hundreds of questions in for you and we'd love to ask you them all, but we know you're very busy. So thank you very much for coming in to us. Dr. Ronan Glynn, Deputy Chief Medical Officer at the Department of Health. No